today we had to resort to using the app on our phone instead of the desktop version on online with Riverside. I cannot hear my dad talk, people. I see the little line levels going. He can hear himself. He can hear me, but I can't hear him. And every single time it's, it's done this. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we haven't done this in a long time. Maybe I should bring my hearing aids over to you and make, uh, make, up, make up long distance. <laughs> oh, man. You're just as frustrated as I am, and I'm sure I'm not even half as frustrated as you are. You're right. Because the last episode we recorded, you brought your laptop, and we tested it out, and I could hear you when you talked. And I haven't touched that thing since then. I know you haven't. I believe you. I believe you. Something anyway. must, there must be something either in the software or a, a, a patch or something got screwed up. You know, a Microsoft patch, because you're on version 11, I think, on Windows. I'm on yes. Plus. I don't know if I'm on 11. But anyway, these people but, aren't listening to the podcast, listening to two old farts have technological. <laughs> but again, that is what makes us two old farts. But we had a good time the other night, right? Yeah, we did. But I'll tell you what, man, I felt like a turkey in the oven. <laughs> I was based on my own juices. Let me tell you about this old fart. He had to go tear a piece of paper off of the beer cart, paper carton to fan himself. Now, we're sitting out in that damn open with all them folks looking at us. I'm okay, but he's sweating like a damn pig. <laughs> Even drinking a beer. I want to take my beer and hold up to his head so it cool him off. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I tore the cardboard off, <laughs> off, off the, the beer container, you know, where the beers come in and out, the case. So and that, they're empties, and I was fanning myself. I thought I was pretty damn slick. And if that wasn't good enough, we go inside, the air conditioning, the fans blowing. Of course, there's a whole lot of folks in there. He's fanning inside there, too. Well, first of all, there's no <laughs> band AC in Texas in the oldest dance hall. There's fans. <laughs> but that, it was a good time. That was fun. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, Junior Brown, I tell you, he is quite an artist. Yeah, he is. He is. He is one of a kind. He is a true original. Yeah, like I tell you, he reminds me of George Thurgood. His yeah, the way he kind of entertains and plays guitar. Yeah, he's, but he's, I mean, his his skill at the guitar, and it, you know, his 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 singing is pretty good. I liked his wife. I'd like to hear her sing a couple more songs. Yeah, uh, Handyman, I think, was like the big song that they did. Yeah, but uh, he's had a pretty good career, even though you don't think of Junior Brown with the other guys, but he's 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 uh, accomplished a lot in his career. Uh, he, he was with the Beach Boys on one of their recordings. Uh, one of their albums that actually went uh, number one. George Jones, with, with George Jones on one of his uh, videos, number one. Uh, yeah, I know he's been with a lot of artists. He's, he's a very prolific artist. Yes. So, you know, that country music award that he won for uh, the video was My Wife My Thinks She's Dead. My Wife Thinks You're Dead, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you think of him, or a lot of people don't think of him, but he's had a pretty amazing career, especially to be his age. Yeah, how old is he? Seventy. Holy smokes! He's—I didn't know he was that old. Yeah, he—he's he, actually looked pretty good for his age. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, but I enjoyed the show. Uh, I was, was hoping. Yeah, you know, it's fun when you look at the crowd, and there was a pretty young crowd there too. There was a lot of young folks. It was Which, very diverse in age, from old farts to middle-aged farts, to not-so-middle-aged farts, to, like, young 20s. Yep. Look like, they look like there's some college students there, maybe from San Marcos or, or, or a place of, Yeah. So, but it, it was a fun evening, and uh, and they're selling Yingling, so that's good for me. I yep. like that Yingling beer. 
I know you two like tradition. it. Two what traditions, tra right? What tradition? Oldest beer in the country and one yep. of the oldest dance halls in the country. I agree there. Yeah. Keep keep beat that old stuff. No. Nope. Whatever now and then. <laughs> so what do you got going after we get done recording this? Oh man, I want to talk about it. I got a, I got a colonoscopy tomorrow, so I got to start that nasty old medicine here after we get off this thing. You got to drink that jug of nastiness. Oh man, I even bought some crystal light lemonade to put in. I don't know how it's going to go. It ain't going to help. Yeah, your mom said, instead of putting it in the whole jar, let's just do like, I got a big 32 ounce cup, just do a cup at a time and see how that goes, see which is, is the worst tasting. You're just going to have to chug it. That's what I told her. She said, you're going to use your straw. I said, no, I'm just going to turn it up and drink as much as I can without belching it back up or whatever. You just got to power through it, old man. Yeah. So I'm on that clear liquid diet. And my appointment's not till two tomorrow afternoon, so it'll be a fun time. And you said take me to the appointment? Yeah, she's going to take me. You know, you got to have somebody drive you home and all that kind of stuff. So. Well, yeah, they, they put you in a twilight sedation. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I'm, I'm just hoping the results come out pretty good, and uh, we're about 10 years down the road. Just make sure mom gives you some clean underwear with, with no, hold, <laughs> no skip on it. And make, well, sure, got, make sure you use some wipes and clean that tutor up because there's going to be people <laughs> around down there. I got a pair with no with big holes in them. I just wear them. I just. You know, mom ain't going to leave the house like that. <laughs> Boy, you're right. Shirt's going to be pressed and pants going to be pressed, clean underwear. Even make me shave. Press. Well, you should be wearing sweats. You need to get stuff that you can get on and off pretty easy. Yeah, I got to wear sweats and a, and a pullover shirt so it make it easy. Yeah. Do we need to get you the old man tennis shoes with the Velcro straps? Are you at that point yet? No, not yet. Not yet. If I, do, if I do that, I saw one advertised the other day where you could just slip on, slip off with it. You got reinforcements in the heel or something. If I'm gonna do that, I'll do that. Okay. God, look, man, I didn't know you were getting that old. But uh, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to being over with. But oh, heck yeah! Be able to eat solid food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, your mom told me yesterday, go eat while you can, cause tomorrow you can't. <laughs> yeah, boy, she's a real trooper too. I told her this morning. I said. Tell me what you want so I can go get it before I start this stuff. She said, no, I'll just bear it with you. So, so she'll eat something here at the house. And, but anyway, we got another concert coming up on July 28th. I think it's going to be pretty good, even though he's, uh, what, 86 or 88 years old? 86 years old. Well, he needs to hang on until we go see him. Because I got yes, some, we got good seats, I think. Yes, we do. And. You know, he's the third best-selling singer right behind Elvis and Frank Sinatra. I did not know that. Really? He's, he sold more albums and stuff than anyone other than those two. I, I just saw that earlier today. I was, looked him up, and uh, that, that's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, he's another artist that's from Texas. I did not, he, he, he's from Texas. He moved to California, San Francisco, his family did in his early life. I didn't know but that he, either. He's actually from Gilmer, Texas. Is that in uh, East Texas? I, you know, I didn't look it up. I think it is. Let me take a look here. Look at the interwebs. You said Gilmer? Gilmer, Texas. And he, he, like I said, he moved to San Francisco in this early years. And his, his dad was a musician. It's um, the county seat of Upshur County. Best known for being the home of the East Texas Yambury. Oh, wow. Yams. So, so that's why about four, five, six people from that East Texas area that's pretty popular, famous. It looks like it's um, 
almost perfectly in between Tyler and Longview, but north of Longview. So it's north of I-20. Okay. Remember when we went to Alabama last year, we drove through Tyler and, and Longview. Right. On the, on the way to Shreveport and all that way. Yep. So it, it's up north of that. So, yeah, you're pretty far north and on the eastern half of Texas. Yeah. But I'm, I'm looking forward to that with your mom. And uh, is Brenda going with that with us or just us? No, Brenda's coming with us. Oh, good. That'd be well, good evening. So, it, so hopefully. Yeah. So guess what? Guess how many people have downloaded our, or how many times I should say that our podcast has been downloaded? 200. You're very close. 205. Oh, wow. Because last time it was like 195, something like that, right? 195. That yeah. I mean, it hasn't been a whole, whole lot. So then I was goofing around inside Podbean. That's the, uh, the company and the website that manages our podcast and, and pushes it out to all of the, uh, the, the places that you can listen to the podcast. Riverside is the app we're using right now to record this. But inside Podbean, I can click on the world or U.S. or Canada, Australia, Sweden, Germany, and it will tell me where our audience is coming from. So I clicked on the U.S., and believe it or not, we've had three downloads from Montana, wow. three, three from Texas, three from Virginia, two from Michigan, one from Florida, and one from Illinois, and one from New Jersey, and that's just since the 30th of June till now. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I'm about to reach out to uh, all your mom's family member up from Michigan and make sure they start listening to us. Get, get your Uncle Bobby to hype us up a little bit and get some more listeners up there. That would, that would be fun. So in the, I'm going to look at all time. I'm going to go over the last 12 months um, in the U.S., so all time here in the U.S. since we started in January, 63 downloads from Texas, 11 from Mississippi, 10 from California. But the, nobody from California is listening anymore. I guess I guess those hippies found out we're not hippies. <laughs> well, that's where you're born, so that's why we need to not alienate our audience because you know we. we we try to we're going to have to really try hard to leave politics and all that out because that's not what this show is about. It's about two old farts and being out and about. But Let anyway. me tell you something interesting. What? Yesterday, yesterday when we were doing the uh, helping Walmart with their fundraiser, got talking to a really interesting old man. He's like me. He has his had his list written down so you know he don't forget anything. So go home. He was in that massive fire that he had last year at Paradise, California. Okay. Uh, he and his wife were separated for almost six hours before he could find out where she is at or she could find out where is it. As a result of that, they moved to Dallas and they just recently, you know, moved here to San Antonio area. But really interesting. Uh, just a really nice person. But to, to meet somebody who actually experienced that massive fire they had it's just it's one it's unreal it's phenomenal yeah. but uh pretty scary it is and then listen to all that they went through and losing everything i mean everything you know so and not a whole lot you can do about it no it's not down power lines and uh dead trees and so forth and so on and uh, but it's amazing that they were able to survive and uh, and get away at least with them, the two of them. I mean, they could, at 88, you're starting all over again, or 86, whatever his age is. If I want to push your laptop back where your phone is, or maybe scoop back a little bit because you're cutting your face off. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, but I mean, all I'm getting is from <laughs> eyebrows on down. Can, can you see how much of your face is in the screen? I see everything. It says Bill Anderson. Got my knuckles and my face and my fan and everything. Well, all I see is just from the Bill Anderson up. Okay, you, you're framed good. Anyway, so 10 from California, 10 from Illinois, 10 from Virginia, 4 from Montana, 
four from New Jersey, three from Tennessee, two from South Carolina, two from Colorado, two from Florida, two from Alabama, one from Iowa, one from Indiana, one from Louisiana, one from Pennsylvania, one from Wisconsin, one from Wyoming, and 13 from unknown. How about Georgia? Uh, no, no, nobody in Georgia. Uh, I'm going to talk to your aunt again because she says she's been checking us out. This is since the last 12 months. Yeah. But that's pretty good. I, I, I'm really surprised. We, we 10 since last week, we had our last one. So, yeah. And, and since we started worldwide, 142 just from the United States, 17 from the UK, three from Canada, two from Ireland, two from Italy, not Italy, two from the Netherlands. Uh, and Belgium? Two from Australia. And, no, two from Netherlands. One from Australia and one from that commie country that we don't talk about. All right. Nothing from the Netherlands. That's surprising. Well, it is, but it isn't. I thought it said at one point we had Belgium, but I guess not. I, I thought it said that once before, too, with Belgium. Maybe that's included. In... Maybe we're confusing Netherlands and Belgium because maybe yeah. we're not so good. <laughs> That'd be easy on my part. Yep. So that's pretty good. We, we need to try a little harder to get a little more international flavor and uh, maybe try to bring back some of those uh, California people. Yeah, since, since now that's where you originally started your life at, out in San Jose, Santa Clara, in that area, it'd be nice to get some family out there and not so family and all those folks. That's a good place. Yeah, I don't mind hippies listening to us. <laughs> maybe they're all moving to Texas, or maybe all, we're all moving from Texas to California. I don't know. Me either. But, but the beach out there is nice. Uh, there's a lot of it. Uh, yeah. So how, we, we, are, you ready, are you ready for your colonoscopy tomorrow? Are you getting your head right? I got my head right. I just got it get that mindset actually i'll just you know I just, you you got to do what you got to do that's all it is you know uh just hope things come out okay well if you do everything that you're supposed to do the test will come out right and you will blow out everything so they won't find any residue in there so they'll be able to tell yep well that's that'll be done right because your mom's here you know how she is She's going to make sure things done right. After 57 years, that's a, that's a person I listen to. So make sure you choke it on down. <laughs> yeah, that's, what you, that's what you're going to do most of the time. I thought about using that straw, but I threw that thing away. I said, you know where I'm going to suck on that. <laughs> it won't get much down. So I just turn it up and chug it. Like you said you're going to start around 2 o'clock taking your medicine. Yeah, I got to start at 2. Uh, but then I, you know, that clear liquid diet. So I, I got some 7-Up uh, Sprite right now. I'm drinking on a half of coffee this morning. Ate good yesterday, so I'm good. All right. Quit taking all my meds. and We'll, we'll have to let everybody know next week how this thing goes. <laughs> I'm sure they want to hear about somebody's colonoscopy. <laughs> well, maybe you can text me your uh, results tomorrow. Oh, I, you can count on it. But uh, maybe we can do something like this again afterwards and let people know that you made it out all right for those, you know, people that do like to listen. Yeah, but it's it's a fun time. I I just got to figure out this damn laptop business. And it's, yeah, I got it's frustrating. To, yeah, it, it's. Frustrating for both of us because we, we try to make it work and trying to troubleshoot from afar. And you, you, know, you just start talking to the screen. And I'm like, Dad, I can't well, hear you. <laughs> uh, you don't have that when you start hollering at your old fart dad. I, people, I do not holler at him. 
Yeah, yeah. I will record it. <laughs> well, this time when we were trying to do it on the phone, I'm like, Dad, turn your camera around. And you turn the phone around. I'm like, no, not the other camera. You're the one that you use for, your, for a selfie. And you're like, I am. I'm like, if you are, then why am I seeing your laptop? I pressed that button three times before I finally got it. You had to click the link two times just to get it open. <laughs> People, I'm not buying this BS that he's selling, and you shouldn't buy it. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a new phone. I don't know. This is what happens when <laughs> two old farts try to do a podcast. Uh, and, that, that's how the, and that's how we came by that name, right? Two old farts? Well, no, that's it's just because the, two old farts. <laughs> Oh, man. I think your Next face time. is frozen. No. It's, yeah, old yeah. age. <laughs> no, it's not. You're not I'm you're on screen. I'm moving. I can see myself moving. Oh. I can see well, you maybe moving. You're frozen on mine. <laughs> now you maybe, maybe you need a new phone yourself. Hey, my phone's finally paid off, so I probably do need a new phone. <laughs> oh, well. But just remember, the trouble that you and I are having trying to get this to work, and that's just two of us. Imagine if we try to have these meetings for the DAV Executive Committee over Zoom or Cisco WebEx or whatever. Oh, I, yeah, I can imagine. It's going to be all kinds of a shit. <laughs> I kinda, I got an email this morning. I think I sent a lot of messages out. Hello. Can you hear me? You there? Hello. Hello. At any rate, you got just a couple of minutes before one o'clock. Uh,